Hey Apex Agents, Mobius Y here with another video for Mass Effect Andromeda's multiplayer. Today's video is quite straightforward as I'm simply going to be discussing a topic that until recently I didn't think was very important. And it's quite simply the necessity to complete the daily challenges. And no, I'm not talking about the special funky Apex missions with the weird mission parameters that can make things a royal pain in the ass for a slight increase in credits and XP earned and getting a few mission funds. Those can be done with strike teams. I pretty much use my strike teams for them all the time. I'm talking about the daily challenges that you can see by opening up the prestige section and going to your challenges. They're at the very top in the very first tab with a big prefix that says daily on them. And the reason why I think they're important is because they are a great source of income for mission funds. Why are mission funds important? Well, these days there is always an option in the item store to buy an ultra rare unlock for 960 mission funds. It alternates between whether you can get a rare, an ultra rare character unlock or an ultra rare weapon unlock. And that kind of flip flops roughly once a week. But still, the option is there. Now, the reason why acquiring these mission funds by doing the daily challenges is such a big deal is because it's simply a great way to get lots in a short time span. In any given day, there are always two daily challenges, each one awarding 30 mission funds. Now, a lot of the time you can get lucky and have two simple ones where it's simply complete 14 waves on X map or Y difficulty. These are the easiest ones to do because you only need to play two games on the respective map or difficulty that is indicated. 14 waves is only two games surviving all the way to the end to extraction. That is super easy and super quick to accomplish. There's additional ones where you have to earn X amount of points against a certain enemy faction. These can be a pain in the ass for some people. Personally, I don't have too much trouble with them because I can earn a lot of points by starting up a game by myself and clearing the first several waves completely solo before anybody else joins. This way I am able to farm all the points available on those first several waves all by myself. And it actually racks up a lot of points towards completing one of those daily challenges very quickly. And those can still be done in roughly two games. Sometimes it'll take three or four, maybe, if you're struggling. But uh, that's not necessarily the case for myself. And it shouldn't be for you either, so long as you... Um, so long as you adopt a similar kind of philosophy of you don't want to hang back and pick off stragglers while other people are aggressively attacking them. Otherwise, you're, you're going to accomplish those very slowly. Uh, so long as you're pressing the attack and especially nuking spawns and just wiping out bad guys as quickly as possible and moving on to the next group, you can finish one of those daily challenges very quickly. The real pain in the ass ones, in my opinion, are ones where you have to earn X amount of points using a specific kind of power. Lately, it's been a lot of using tech powers for example i remember one time some uh several weeks ago a few months ago actually it was using biotic powers and there was one instance where it was using combat powers those definitely happen too but lately it's been a lot of earn x points using tech powers these ones i find are a bit of a pain in the ass because they tend to take three or four or in one instance five games to complete so it's definitely a little bit longer to finish it but still it's 30 easy mission funds um, so I go for it anyways. And obviously when going for something like that, if you're going for, like I've said several times, tech powers, you want to use a character that can pump out a lot of damage very quickly using just tech powers. Something like, oh, a Turian agent that can roast things, uh, to, to complete annihilation with a cloaked flamethrower, uh, flamethrower burp. Or something like the Krogan Engineer, who could just lay waste to entire groups of enemies with her combination of tech powers and just, you know, repeatedly do it every few seconds. Uh, those, those would be best. And um, the reason why I recommend doing them is, is because it's, it's simply a, a time versus reward uh, kind of metric. In a single day, I would say on average I get about... 40 or 50 mission funds with my strike teams. Now, in theory, I could still earn about 30 mission funds in about two hours, three hours with my strike teams. And the reason why I say two to three hours is because a lot of the strike missions, especially the gold ones, uh, do have a 
time lapse requirement of anywhere between two to three hours, sometimes four hours. Uh, so, in the very early morning, first thing when I wake up, when there's six new missions available for my strike teams, I can send all six of them out, and then I just wait the hours required and complete them all, and so provided they're all successful, I'll get about 30 mission funds. Um, of course, the exception is if they complete Apex missions, which gives them even more mission funds, but uh, that's beside the point. The problem with this is that the um, the strike teams, they're not always ready to send all of them out on a new mission, because even when they complete those six missions, and I actually check the Apex HQ, say, three to four hours later, uh, to complete all of those missions, there might only be one or two or very rarely three missions available to send uh, to send my strike teams back out on. So even though I got those 30 or 20 or whatever, or possibly 40 mission funds in the first several hours of the morning, for the rest of the day, I might only wind up sending my strike teams on an entire another six missions, maybe. Uh, and that's by constantly checking Apex HQ every few, every few hours. So you're getting about 40 to 60 mission funds with your strike teams, depending on their failure rate, depending on how many of them are Apex missions, and depending on uh, how many pop up throughout the day. So it's a bit iffy. It's not really a guarantee, but still, 40 to 6 mission funds in a single day isn't too bad. You can simply pad that, or should I say nearly double it, by simply doing these daily challenges in a single day. And the difference is that you're sending your strike teams throughout the whole day. It takes the whole day to accrue all those mission funds uh, before going to bed and then starting the process over uh, the, the very next morning. In order to get these mission funds for the daily challenges, it could take as little as 30 to 40 minutes. You, you could simply have to play two games on a specific difficulty on a specific map. And a game is, even on the higher difficulties, with a competent team or a competent group of players, is only about 20 minutes. So in less than an hour, you are getting the same number of mission funds added to your bank just for playing the game. It could be even faster if it was something like, you know, complete two missions on bronze on cert on a certain map. And then, you know, you could be done in less than half an hour. <laughs> so, um, possibly. Uh, of course, it would. it's entirely possible it could take more games than that. As I said, earning X amount of points with a certain kind of powers or earning X amount of points against a certain faction could take possibly three, maybe four games. Or in the in a very very rare circumstance, in a very strenuous uh, time, it could take five games. So um, at most two hours of game time. So it's kind of a small price to pay, just giving up less than an hour of your time, roughly, to complete one, if not both, of these uh, of these daily challenges, simply to put more mission funds in your bank. That's it's an additional sixty mission funds per day, and if you think about it. Every, if you complete every daily challenge for a whole week, seven days a week, two challenges per day, 30 mission funds per challenge, so an extra 60 mission funds every day, you can earn an additional 420 YOLO swag blaze it mission funds in the entire week just by completing the daily challenges. Tack that on with the mission funds that you're getting throughout the week from your strike teams, and it adds up. You could be easily getting six to seven hundred mission funds in a single week. So roughly every week and a half to at most two weeks, depending on your own uh, your own personal time schedule and how available you are to jump into the game and get a, and bang a few rounds out, or how often you send out your strike teams and whatnot, you could essentially go to the item store and get a new ultra rare unlock. It might not sound like a big deal to start getting these ultra rares, especially for a new player, uh, but for somebody in my shoes in particular, where I've got all my rare characters at grade 10 or higher, and I'm, max and I'm just about maxed out on all my grade 10 base guns, like I'm starting to unlock the variants for them, it's at the stage where, you know, I want to be working on my ultra rare characters and guns. I want to be unlocking a few guns that I still don't have, for example. I want to be increasing the gr uh, the grade of the characters so that I can get more points to put into their skills and make them a more effective character to play. And, um, you know, just eventually working towards a grade 10 character as well as grade 10 guns and finally unlocking the siphon variants of those guns. It's just simply one more way to kind of speed things up. And 
these days with the way thing the balance patches have gone the last couple uh the last couple patch uh, the, sorry the last couple balance updates almost all the ultra rare guns are extremely good so why you would want to pass up on that kind of an opportunity i don't know i just think it's a really good idea and it wasn't something that i personally did not take seriously uh until a few months ago myself i still think that the apex missions that you have to play and can't send strike teams on are largely a waste of time yeah, that's in in my opinion um but doing the daily challenges absolutely not because like i said they can be done in as little as two games and boom 60 extra, extra mission funds to your name of course the mission funds are useful for more than just getting those guaranteed singular ultra rare unlocks as well you could use them for getting things like uh, certain weapon mods or characters of certain grades or even just restocking on things like your your revive packs or your first aid packs if you are running extremely low and have very few uh, credits to your name as well but that's strictly my opinion on it uh, you are free to disagree of course as as is, is with every opinion that i just wanted to kind of offer my thoughts and how i felt uh about this interesting opportunity like i said i i feel like a total dumbass for not taking advantage of these daily challenges many many months ago i would probably have way more ultra rare guns unlocked um well maybe not way more but several more ultra rare guns unlocked and definitely excuse me more character cards for the ultra rare characters unlocked as well had i taken advantage of this myself instead of just using my strike teams um, it honestly takes a long time to accrue 960 mission funds just by sending out strike teams. Even if I'm doing it every day and I'm diligently sending them out on every mission available, uh, it still takes a long time. So by doing these daily challenges, it really cuts down on that time between getting a new guaranteed unlock, ultra rare unlock from the item store. So I think it would just be a good idea to kind of, for other players to kind of follow suit. It would it would just help you get more things into your arsenal uh, at a faster rate is strictly my opinion anyways i will stop babbling hopefully this made sense i kind of rambled on about it uh but like i said i look at it as a as kind of just a way to cut down on the time required to um well to for lack of a better way to describe it to max out your manifest as you know, for long-term players like myself, that is ultimately every player's goal at some point. Anyways, I will let the rest of this gameplay pan out. Uh, this guy, my yammering has gone on long enough. Thank you very much for listening. Hope, as I said, hopefully it made sense and it kind of sunk in a little bit. Let me know what you think uh, below. Will your own methodology for acquiring mission funds at a good pace? This has been Mobius Y for Mass Effect Andromeda's multiplayer. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you at tonight's stream. Good luck, Apex.